What up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. You know something I just don't understand. I just don't understand this, why everything is always, everybody has to be compared to Dak Prescott, and Dak Prescott has to be trash to give somebody relevance. Um, here it is, Sean Merriman. Okay, um, who beginning of the season basically went on board and saying that Justin Herbert is so much better than Dak Prescott. You know, it's a, he can't even carry his jockstrap. All the talking heads out there talked about how good da uh, uh, Justin Herbert is and you know, everything else. And I'm sitting here trying to understand what is the matrix? What is the matrix here for relevance? Because we trash Dak because we say he doesn't have success in the playoffs. That's that's the knock on Dak. Great regular season quarterback, right? And I, I get that matrix. So how do you define that Justin Herbert is better than Dak Prescott? Let's listen to Sean Merriman. And this is literally this is literally desperation for please watch me. Please watch me. Still better than Dak. He's still Top better. Take that Cowboys fan. Top three? I hope they I hope y'all listening out there because he's <laughs> he's still better. He, he regressed, right? I mean, he, this past season because I think the team the team just didn't do well, right? He got injured also too, but the team just didn't do well. He didn't he didn't look that good. I thought the no identity. They couldn't find a rhythm. They were barely winning the games. They probably should have blown teams out. You know, so, scoring six points against the Patriots. You know, the, all that stuff is just a horrible horrible way to go about it. Um, and we'll see what you know. Okay, Dak Prescott went to the playoffs, had a great year, went to the playoffs, got bounced. You know, he'll get a max deal and possibly get bounced again next year. Like, so, we'll see. Like so, so wait a minute. They scored six points against the Patriots? But he's better. He's better. The t he, he admits he regressed, which means you went backwards. Now, you could look and say maybe that was Kellen Moore. You know, the change in offensive coordinator, the guy that we've had calling the plays for several years for Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott got better without Kelly Moore. So maybe that's the reason why. But I, I, I just don't see, A, the need to do this. The rationale of saying that, you know, my team sucked ass. Oh, but he's better than, but, but the, at least the Cowboys made the playoffs. At least Dak is in the conversation for MVP. I don't see where Justin Herbert in his career, where he's gotten paid now the big contract, got the big contract and regressed. Because I remember hearing things of when you give the quarterback the bag, you can't win the big one. I, I remember hearing that. So Justin Herbert got the big bag. He didn't say that about Justin Herbert. And when Dak Prescott regressed, it was like, oh, he's headed out the league. Justin Herbert gets injured, regresses, and everything else. Oh, he's going to be better. I, 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 I just want to – the reason I point this out is because it's kind of crazy when you hear the things that are said and you realize that there's the Dak Prescott standards of everything and then there's everybody else. The things, you know, we hear just that, that Josh Allen is incredible talent and everything else, and he does – 18 interceptions and fumbles and leads the league in turnovers, and that's ignored. Dak Prescott leads the NFL in turnovers, although the games that he played, we were the highest scoring offensive football. It's not about them being a great talent and him being, uh, you know, scoring so many points. It's only about the interceptions. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying that Dak Prescott is the best quarterback in the NFL. People will take it that way, that I'm just here trying to defend Dak. I'm honestly, I guess actually I am. When, when you have knuckleheads out there that have two different standards, and basically the standard that they have on Dak Prescott is, unless he wins the Super Bowl, he is ass-ass. But that's the only one that they do that to. Nobody else. Nobody else. I just had to get that out there. Sean Merriman, bro, you are literally trying to stay relevant. Peace.